I just came back from the movie theater, saw Gladiator 2. I was excited to watch this movie because the trailer was so confusing. Like, I, I, I came out of the tra that, that trailer that everyone talks about. A lot of people complain about the pop, the, the hip-hop song that's in it. That's not my issue. My issue is just how confused that trailer was. Like, I, I came out of it, I'm like, who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Like, what is this even about? It usually, no matter what, even if the movie itself is complicated, the trailer usually dumbs it down and makes it simple so that you grab onto it quickly. That's usually the narrative language of trailers. And... This trailer was so complicated. I was like, what is this movie? Like, how, how, why, I, I don't even know what to feel. And I'm, the movie, hilariously, not as complicated as its, its trailer. What can I say about it? It is better than the last Ridley Scott movie I saw, which was Napoleon. Uh, but uh, that is a hurdle that was buried in the ground. He couldn't have tripped over that if he tried. Uh, so it, it was more fun than Napoleon. Um, yeah, and even things that I thought were dumb writing choices were at least entertaining writing choices. So it was, it was fun. The visuals were, were pretty nice. The acting was pretty good. Pedro Pascal, I think, was a standout for me personally. I thought I thought his performance was pretty solid. But the story... Well, basically, if you want to watch Gladiator again, this is the movie for you. It's just Gladiator, but worse. <laughs> it's just Gladiator, but messier, more convoluted, and without the same emotional punch. It's not the worst thing ever, but it, it doesn't achieve all the things that it's setting out to do. I think a lot of it comes down to how convoluted and unnecessarily complicated the protagonist is. Just his backstory and like there's so much going on. It, it's, it's like, and they have him in Numidia at the beginning so they can have this big siege at the beginning. But the the Numidia origins really mess with the themes that they're trying to do, which is the themes of a better Rome, and like it makes him much too disconnected from Rome and kind of the heart, or at least what they're trying to make the heart of the story. He doesn't care enough for most of the movie, and then he kind of suddenly does, but it it doesn't. He's he's much too disconnected, uh, which is a shame. I think if he's like hardships in life like growing up came from Rome and being in Rome and he cared about Rome I think some of what they're doing would have landed a little better part of the reason why they made it so convoluted though is they just keep trying to reference the first movie which is a huge mistake because every time it does which is almost every scene it just reminds you that you could be watching Gladiator instead of this movie <laughs> <laughs> which is unfortunate it's not a good reminder it's not helping them but they constantly they even do flashbacks to the previous movie and that that's not good it, it doesn't help them at all there's just too many references too much it's just constantly trying to bring almost like bring their story back into the fold with the old story it's like look this is the sequel this is the same about the same characters this is about this and they're like we know. Step on the brakes about that. You already have the same plot. You don't need to constantly keep referencing it. There's some cool gladiator fights. I think so the, the fight scenes in general were pretty strong, uh, pretty good. There was a naval, there was like a ship battle in the Colosseum, which did happen in, in history, which was nice to see. I, I doubt there was sharks in the water, but cool idea. Unfortunately, in some ways, that might have been the weakest fight scene. They didn't really set up the stakes during that fight, so you weren't emotionally invested, which, which is a shame because visually, I think it was a uh, pretty pretty cool idea. Uh, when they when they're announcing the naval battle, the the emperors mention Poseidon, and I got very upset because I was like, shouldn't they say Neptune? Like this is Rome, not 
Greece. Why are they saying Poseidon? Is it because people know the name Poseidon more than Neptune? I don't know. That just took me right out of the movie. Another thing that took me right out of the movie. Oh my gosh. The <laughs> There's some odd shots. Very strange shots. There's like a part where these two people kiss. And then it cuts to a dog. I, I kid you not. And it was weird cut. That was bizarre. Um, and then there's this other one. Oh my god. I gotta, t I gotta talk about this one. So there's a shot where people are sneakily talking about uh, kind of treasonous things. And then it cuts to a uh, servant girl that's overhearing this. And it kind of out of nowhere. And like her her face is like she's hiding behind a pillow. It, it's a, The shot was so strange that the entire audience in the movie theater laughed. Like it we just burnt. We all burst out laughing. Which I'm not sure was what they were going for, but it was it was top tier comedy. And then, and then later, when the woman is like telling someone else about what she overheard, one person in the audience, there was someone in the theater who gasped, and we all heard her gasp. Like she somehow didn't see this coming, and we all laughed at her. We we were laughing at the movie. We were laughing at this one person gasp. It was great. Uh, movie theaters are fun, guys. That, that, that's, a, that's a fun experience. The revolving door of antagonists and their machinations, I think in concept could have been a cool idea, but a lot of it came across as kind of silly. Like Denzel Washington's shenanigans. Denzel Washington clearly had a lot of fun with that role, and good for him, because he seemed to it look like he was enjoying it. Uh, though the, his, the, the plans of his character, on the other hand, were a little odd. Uh, didn't really make too much sense. <laughs> but the concepts were there. Like, I, there were some interesting concepts. Yeah, I, I had fun, but <sighs> I'm not necessarily recommending the movie. It's not the worst thing ever. Um... Like, it's not terrible, it's just, it doesn't gel, it has a lot of writing problems, but, eh, it's okay. Yeah, well, it, it is what it is. I wouldn't seek it out myself, but I wouldn't avoid it if it came on TV. It's kind of like, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, I wanted to say, I wanted to talk about that. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now, that was a late screening. You guys have a good night.